it's your girl Danny DMC. Welcome to our channel. Welcome back if you're part of the Confidence Crew. One time for the Confidence Crew. Wow. And wow. the crowd goes wild. <laughs> What's up you guys? Look who's with me. What are you doing friends? It is La Javiera. La Javiera. In the building. In the building. Which means you know one of a few things are coming. Either my bestie's rating my outfits, which we're not today, but let us know in the comments below if you wanna see it, okay? It's been a minute. Or we are coming to you live and direct with a Curvy Girls Answer Questions video. And that is what's happening today, the first one of 2023. Get your popcorn. How excited are we? I'm a fucking rapper. <laughs> we're boom, so boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, clearly, that's an intro. I know, clearly we're a little excited today. <laughs> it's because we haven't done one of these videos in so long. Are you getting cute aggression? Yes. <laughs> um, we haven't done one of these videos in so long. So long. I don't even know when the last time I know. Was. Last year? We'll link the, our last one in the description box below. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was last year. Yeah. Um, and Javi and I live across the street from each other, so we literally have no excuse. We have leveled up. At all. Yeah, we've been like a little sucky at making content together. Yeah, but, but we've been living life yeah. and having like, yeah, like yeah. honestly, that's the most important part. And you should be happy about it. Yeah, um, we're and really happy about it. Life. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, it's life yeah. and we're living. Life is lifing. <laughs> okay, before we get into today's video, obviously make sure you guys are tapped in with Javi. I'll put all her info in the description box below, like I always do. Her Instagram, her TikTok, her YouTube. She's popping. Okay, you, you need like to be cozy vlogs. Go to my YouTube because I make digital diaries now. Oh, okay. Digitally, digitally. Digitally diary. <laughs> diary. Okay, digital diary. Girl. Diva. <laughs> digital diary. Diva. Diva. Absolutely. Uh. Okay, before we get into today's video, make sure you are tapped in with the Confidence Crew. This is your home, so I want you to hit that big juicy red button, scream, subscribe to you below, but I want you to be calm that decision, so wait, watch this entire video. And I guarantee you, by the end of it, you will be running, sprinting, gasping to join the confidence crew. Okay. Why are we gasping? <laughs> because we're running. Well, we hit the subscribe button. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't hurry up and do it. Got it. I just wanted to exit that. I'm already so late. I need to do it now. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, cool. We have a lot of energy. We're just going into it today. So we asked on both of our Instagrams uh, some questions. Today we're doing just like an overall Curvy Girls answer questions you're too afraid to ask. This is how we started the series. Um, and it like went wild and we, I ended up having like other guests on it and stuff like that. And we have specific topics mm -hmm. today. We're doing a general and just to, you know, get it back started, but I already have some good ideas. We were just talking about doing a curvy girls answer questions about workouts or going, going to, to the, the gym. gym because, um, we've been like gym girlies lately yeah. and we really want to talk about that in the relationship of like going to the gym, being fat, being plus size, being curvy in that space. Mm -hmm. And we got a ton of questions about it too. Also, we have a huge announcement. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. So watch this whole video, we're gonna announce it at the end, but we may or may not oh, duh, be doing do. a little meet and greet situation in LA. If you're in the LA area, you need to watch this entire video yeah. because we have some exciting news, news for a little Valentine's Day situation, okay? But not on Valentine's Day, don't worry. We know everybody has plans. Um, Are you ready? Yeah, <laughs> I'm <been> ready. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go into it. I already screenshotted a bunch of questions okay. um, from my and Javi's story. She like screen recorded, so did I, and I click some. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's just like get right into it. Okay. We're just gonna like, why, Hit me. why build Hit me. up when we can? Okay, 22 year old virgin here. <gasps> okay. Go crazy. Your body, your choice. But it could, she didn't say that, sorry. Okay, her question is 22 year old virgin here, but it could be happening soon. Plus size tips. For confidence in bed. Sorry, I was like having a brain fart. We got so, we always get so many questions about plus size sex. And we have a couple more that I'll I'll put into, but we definitely need to do another curvy yeah. to answer questions about plus size sex or curvy sex. Um, because this is obviously a topic that's not talked about enough. And we mm -hmm. did a video like this, I think in 2021. I'll link yeah. it below too. But kick it off half, 22 year old virgin, could be happening soon, plus, plus size tips for confidence in bed. No pressure. <laughs> now my palm's sweating. Okay, um, personally speaking, I was saying- Javi was 28 when she lost her virginity. No, I'm just kidding. No, but like if you are 28, like again, go, go crazy. crazy. <laughs> no, 
you picking up my slang? Javi's a Chicago girl, if you guys didn't know. I was born in Chicago. <laughs> Bitch, I'm from Chicago! <laughs> Shout out to Nate. Okay, Nathan. we're getting the like, Okay, let's start. stop doing this. Focus. Okay. Should I repeat the question? No, I got it. Okay. Um, I would just say don't overthink it. You're there to be pleased and just try to enjoy yourself as much as you can. Like, I know there's, you know, it's all about feeling comfortable in, in your body and stuff. And I think a lot of times when it comes to sex, we tend to overthink everything. Mm -hmm. Like, what are they looking at? And like, what, like, don't try, try not to fixate too much on how your body looks, but how your body feels, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah, and if you're feeling good, that means you're feeling good and that's what you should focus on, yeah. you know? And if that man is doing it with you, it's because he likes you, yeah. you know? 100%. I agree with that fully. I think everyone, when it comes to virginity, it's such a tough, touchy topic because everyone has to make decisions for yourself. And I feel like as girls, we often hear like, when you know, you'll know, when you know, you know, type of thing. And like, it is very cliche, but I do kind of feel that. I waited on the later side. I was like almost 18. And, um, and for like my demographic and being a city kid and stuff that was like on the later side. And I agree with like not too much pressure. Like I just was with a friend, you know, it was comfortable, but it wasn't for me, it was important. I didn't want it to be serious, like in a serious relationship because I feel like then there's like even more pressure. Yeah. So it's like whatever feels good to you, mm -hmm. just make sure that you're in a safe space um, yeah. in terms of like obviously being safe, having safe sex, but also like someone that makes you feel like emotionally and physically safe. So you can just like explore and it, it's yeah. not your first time. It, it's gonna, it can feel good, but it also can feel uncomfortable because yeah. you're like, and it's, it's almost awkward. like you're learning, yeah, you're yeah. learning something new. So like you yeah. want someone that's gonna be patient and understanding yeah. and caring. And also you can always change your mind. No yes. matter what you're doing at whatever time, yeah. make sure like that whoever you're with, you can just be like, you know what? I'm cool right now. Yeah. Like actually we can stop here. Yeah. And but and always have that in mind. Don't be afraid to speak up yeah. about your needs. Yes, and lead with confidence. Know that you are in control. You mm -hmm. are controlling everything. Mm -hmm. So that's important. Hopefully that helped. Okay, next question. I need answers about curvy girls dating because it's like it's different for us. Um, I feel that. Also, we got another question about like, is it hard dating when you're plus size? Yeah, do you think dating as a plus size person makes it harder to find someone? So we can kind of tie those two together. Okay. Um, Hav okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, Javi, I feel like is more recently actively dating. Um, but I can obviously talk about my experience as well. I I think it is different for us dating in terms of the fact that like society makes us different. Society deems us different as plus size people. So like most, and obviously I'm a woman, so I, I'm a heterosexual woman, so I can only really speak from that experience. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for me, the partners I'm looking for being men um, are very much brainwashed by society. And I think one of my best dating experiences obviously led to my now relationship where um, I feel like T-Bell is definitely one of the most open-minded people I've ever been with. And also like me, a rebel of society. Like if you are gonna date a man, you need him to understand like what you go through. Mm -hmm. And I think it's similar being in an, inter in an interracial relationship as well. Like I have to understand T-Bell's perspective as a black man walking in this world. Um, and he understands my perspective as a plus size woman walking in this world. And if you don't have those conversations, <clears throat> which you have to have confidence to have those conversations, um, it can be it can be difficult because I, everyone's blowing up my phone, I'm so popular. <laughs> um, because it, it can be difficult to have those conversations because I feel like for me, I was, I was like insecure and didn't want to like talk about the elephant in the room about being plus size when dating. Mm. It's like, I almost just wanted to like act like it wasn't a thing. And a lot of guys did too. And a lot of guys would like sleep with me and hook up with me, but didn't want to date me, didn't want to be seen in public with me. I think that's something we all can like kind of align with, especially like growing up fat and stuff too in middle school, high school. I feel like a lot of that happens. Um, but I think the best thing, and I'm always gonna say this, you guys, the best thing you can do is work on yourself and be stupid confident because that's what people are attracted to. Like T-Bell always says the number one thing that attracted him to me was my confidence. And T-Bell has never been with a bigger girl, but he like didn't care because I was like, I'm the shit. And he felt that energy and he's mm -hmm. like, whoa, why does she think she's the shit? I need, I need a piece of that. Like <laughs> she must really be the fucking shit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you have to go extra hard because you have to prove to this person and the, like the part of them that's brainwashed by society that like, you are worthy and lovable, which is unfortunate, but if you know that, you will expect nothing less than to be treated like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Wait, Did I cover it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's uh, it's uh, it's approved by half. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. <clears throat> Are you gonna read it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All caps. She said, how you stay fresh after a whole ass day? It is sexy time. <laughs> <gasps> okay, always come prepared, yes. ladies. So, okay, you have a little purse, mm -hmm. okay? Um, not that I used to do this because, you know, a lot of times um, I would bring these dudes back to my place. That's, and that's, that's the goal. really is the cheat code yes. because I feel like. You want to be in your space, have your products. Yes, have, your, have yeah. everything. I want to feel comfortable. That's why I said, like, comfort when it comes to that type of stuff is like top priority for me because yeah. I know that one, that person's not staying here. You can. Yeah. It. and um i have everything in my reach like if i'm feeling uncomfortable it's my space yeah again they can leave but also if you don't want a random guy in your house totally understandable so yeah. it's just like a hookup you can go to his house too because then you can leave whenever yeah. you want you know it nothing's worse than a guy that stays or a girl that stay yeah. overstays their welcome yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Which is, you know plan, a, plan um, ahead but like yeah so set. like you can um in your bag you can carry like a little spray you can carry like wipes mm. um and honestly, I I find I, I feel like in the past like couple years I've noticed like if you feel comfortable, we'll take showers together and like that brings like, have, a whole oh, type I of said, How has done that? <laughs> I have. Okay. No, I actually I have. Yeah. And I don't know. I feel like it's like a great way to do a lot of foreplay. Yeah. And, like before every and it makes it's just, it less like, awkward when yeah, you're like sitting on the nice. couch and you're like, like you're getting to know each other's bodies that yeah. way too. And it's like it's just cheeky. Like you get to like wash each other and yeah. that kind of like builds the the tension. Yeah. And then you're clean, both of you. Because yeah. that guy needs to be clean yeah. too. Because you can't just, you know, that man is inserting yes. his you know that part. That part. I got so many questions about hygiene. We've, I think because we've also done a Curvy Girls mm -hmm. answer questions about feminine hygiene, which we're gonna have to run back for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I got a bunch of questions about hygiene and some of them made me feel some type of way because they were like, about like advice on, I can't remember specifically if I find it, I'll put it on the screen, but like um, big girls, like we smell more, how do we stay clean? And I'm like, that's interesting because I feel like I smell phenomenal all the time. Yeah, I've never been told I stink. Yeah. And also I will say I'm spoiled because T-Bell is weird and I'll come home from the gym sweating and he's like, that's my favorite. <laughs> but that's because- Well, that's also, weirdo. that's we've been, yeah, we've been together. So, so everyone's attracted to that. But I think a part of like, my self care routine and hobbies too. She's very much like this yeah. is like taking care of our bodies and like moving slowly through our routine. So like our skincare routine, our body care routine, scrub, doing a scrub, it's like a ritual. doing a wash. Exactly. It makes yeah. me feel like complete every day. I'm a morning shower. You're like a night shower, right? And now or I'm like doing switch. both. Yeah, hobbies a morning. <laughs> now I'm like, I feel like I'm like an afternoon shower because we'll go to the gym and obviously yeah. I'm showering right away. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I'd be taking shower twice a day sometimes. Yeah, yeah it, it's always like it how depends. you feel. I'm definitely a morning shower. Like I have to start my day like with a shower. If I go to the gym, I do it right after. Mm -hmm. If I don't go to the gym that day, I wake up and first thing I do is shower. And I love, it's like a part of my daily routine, like starting mm -hmm. that. And then when I get out of my shower, doing my oils, doing my lotions, doing my favorite deodorant, doing my feminine spray. Like it's just, I like have all my steps that I mm -hmm. do in a row. Yeah. Um, and that really, I think putting that much care and time into my body, like I don't smell during the day. Mm -hmm. Like, have you ever smelled me? No. Well, I mean, you smell good. No, I mean, like, have I ever smelled bad? No. Have you been like, damn, she got bo, she, <laughs> no. she got a little stanky. <laughs> I mean, same for you. No. Like, no. I feel, I feel like, like if anything, I always get complimented on how good it smells. Yeah, smell. Javi's a perfume. But guy. That's I, why. Yeah, and I wash my hair. Her yeah. hair always smells so good. But anyway, I think honestly, uh, uh like my biggest pro tip is. Make sure you, when you get out the shower, just dry yourself as much as you can. Like literally air dry mm. if you can, because like moisture holds, well, one bacteria, Scent. but also smell mm. and it'll smell like humid. And then that turns into stench. So that's so true. I'm so yeah. glad you said that. So one time my gynecologist like in fully Chicago. fully dry before you dress it, get dressed. Yeah, my gynecologist in Chicago, he told me, I forget what we were talking about, but he was like, um, do you blow dry your hair? And I, he was an amazing gynecologist. I loved him. Like, oh, he retired. I was so sad. Um, but he was like, do you blow dry your hair? And I was like, yeah, this is when I had long hair. I was like, yeah, when I get out of the shower. He goes, okay, sometimes when you get out of the shower, you should um, push on the cool button and blow dry your vagina. He's like, it helps with any type of sweat, perspiration. It can prevent um, yeast infections, UTIs, smell, like yeah. all this stuff. 
And I, I did it this morning. Like, I don't do it every time because I don't blow dry my hair every single day. Yeah. But whenever I like think about it, I do it and it feels so good. And then I can feel that I'm like dry down there. Yeah. I always like dry, my, make sure to dry my parts. I don't know if you can say like the V word on YouTube without getting mm -hmm. demonetized. But I, I, always, <laughs> I always dry my parts. Um, and then I have a feminine spray, which I mentioned in our last video. Yeah. It's, everything's linked to my Amazon. But um, but yeah, I think I, I totally agree. That's yeah. really important. And same with your armpits. If you don't dry yes. your armpits all the way, even if you like, put deodorant, weird. yeah. And it, maybe it won't be like bo, but that's kind of what's kickstart. Yes. It. So and if you don't want to do a blow dryer, I usually just like put my towel like this. Yes. Kind of like a I diaper that too. almost. I yeah. do too. I have and one I, towel I wrap my hair with. Walk around. One, yes. That's one thing I do love about. Too. What I like about having thick thighs is that it doesn't matter. Like your thighs would literally hold it. Like yes. you know, I can I can sprint Same. with a towel in between yes. my thighs and it will not That's fall. That's so funny. I do that. So too. I do that, and um, then you know, then it's like underwear, yeah. my pants, or whatever. And then it's like fully dry. You don't have to worry yes. about it yes. smelling. So great advice. Love that. Pro tip. Okay, staying on kind of the same topic. <laughs> next question: shaving tips. I feel like Hav always has more to say about this than me, and we're just gonna touch on it now because we're gonna do a whole video about feminine hygiene. Yes. So. Just our quick thoughts. Okay, personally speaking, <laughs> I'm triggered. I honestly, I hate shaving and I really want to look into like laser hair removal. For, She's been saying this for like five years. I'm scared. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a puss. And boots. Puss. Great boots. movie. I'm a wuss and I don't like pain and I just heard that it hurt and then after that I stalled. But anyway. But you're having pain anyway because you shave. I know, so I shave and I get these like very bad razor bumps and I think it's kind of like HS. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But it's like it's like an uh, inflammatory skin disease almost. So you get a lot, I have very acne prone skin mm. and it's very sensitive. So like whether it be fabrics or like things rubbing around my inner thigh, like I will get these like gnarly razor bumps sometimes. And and it's and just she has coarser, annoying. thicker hair too. Like. Yeah, so like my shoulders yeah. coil in there and it's <laughs> it's not great. So um, recently I had one and it's because I had shaved. And it honestly, at this point, it doesn't matter what I do. I always get something. So yeah. I'm sorry. But so obviously anti-shave. Coconut, but I oh, used yeah, to shave with coconut oil because it glides really, really smoothly. I use We The People, um, uh, the, the mm. bikini line uh, yep. thingy, BHA yep. or something. The I also use the Ordinary tonic. Glycolic Acid also mm. is great for, and for people your armpits. Yeah, yeah, people, Wait, I just saw yeah. TikTok. Yeah, someone was talking about how it's yes. really good for like your armpits yes. too. And it was a dark skin girl and a lot yeah. of my friends that are darker skinned, they always have problems with hyperpigmentation yeah. under their armpits. Her armpits were like, yeah, like Ooh. heaven. Yeah, yeah. So she said that, yeah, that ordinary, yeah, yeah, um, glycolic acid. Yeah, I use that on my inner thigh too because I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation there as well, and just with a lot of rubbing, whatever that yeah. just tends to happen. So highly recommend that. I also recommend a Paula's Choice salicylic acid body oh, yeah. spray. And you can, I've used it on my face too. It's cleared up a lot of my acne as well. So if you're dealing with that sort of situation, like myself. <laughs> those products are like really good. Yeah. Um, I would say when I was like a big shaver, I did, um, not shaver, I'm sorry. When I was a big not hair down there <laughs> girl, <laughs> I was the queen of a Brazilian wax. Like I loved my Brazilian wax. I would rather die before I do that. Like I was a die-hard Brazilian wax. Don't they do your lips? Yeah. Ah! And the and they like do your butthole. It was crazy. She was. It was this lady. She. I, this is when I lived in New Orleans. It was out of her house. This old Creole woman, and she, I loved her. She'd be like literally in my butt. Like, so how are you doing, sweetie? She's like a grandma. I loved her. She made her own wax, everything, and I had such a good experience with her. But Ty, I've talked about this before, T-Bell really made me like want to be more into not getting rid of all my hair and I'm obsessed with it yeah. now. I told my mom this recently, me and my mom are really close. <laughs> and she was like, that's so crazy because when I was growing up, it was not like, you need, you didn't need to be bald. Like, cause my mom was like I a hippie. Know. Yeah, they really love that. Cause... And like, I've always seen my mom naked my whole life. That's just how she like raised us. We're very comfortable in our bodies and stuff. And like, she's never, I didn't grow, she said to me, she's like, you didn't grow up seeing that. And I was like, I know, but for some reason, I, I always thought like when I became sexually active that I had to be like completely yeah. naked down there. It was because of the corn industry. Yeah, the corn. 
I don't, no, don't want to say P. Yeah, no, it's but, true. You know, it's no, it is. That. It's a hundred percent. But I'm so glad now. I like me and Javi are kind of on the same wave. We just like go natural. We trim a lot with scissors. Yeah. yeah. I do. I will say I do shave the sides from time to time. Yeah. Um, like and like under a little bit. So Especially I'll just have like a little hair on the top. Yeah. yeah. Or like bikini season for yeah. me. Um, but. I, uh, I'm, I'm fortunate in the fact that I don't really get razor bumps. I've never really been prone to razor bumps, but I do use the Flamingo, um, gel after you, sh there's like a razor bump, uh, I like gel. those razors too. Yeah. I, I use a Flamingo razor, the Flamingo, um, Oil. uh, shaving, no, shaving cream. cream. And then the Flamingo, like after shave, um, balm like balm. Oil. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, so those are my tips. Okay. Next question. This upset me. Oh, you God. upset me in my home girl. <gasps> what products do you use for cellulite? I know you've put us up on game, but I can't find the video. You know you lied. What? You know you ain't never seen no video of me talking about what I use on cellulite. She asked a lot of questions. She said she'd been following me for a long time. No, sh Natasha doesn't know shade at you. Maybe it was like some type of like firming cream, but. I've never used a firming cream. <laughs> I, <clears throat> I, oh. um. I've had cellulite my entire life, literally. Like, I can't even remember the first time I realized I had cellulite. Mm. And uh, it's a part of my body. I've come to love it. It definitely was one of the areas that was harder for me to learn to love because society was so against it. Like, I have so many uh, memories as a kid of like people making fun of cellulite and, mm. you know, just feeling embarrassed and all that. But, um, I love my cellulite. I've never used any products. The only thing that I guess could be considered maybe a product is um, Jergens Firming Lotion. Yeah. Um, but it's not, I don't think it's for cellulite, but it is amazing. It's super thick. I love it on my arms, my chest, and my back. It's great in the winter. I actually have it at my parents' house in Detroit because I use it a lot, but it has never changed my cellulite. And mm -hmm. that wasn't like my goal in using it. Um, but yeah, I've never used any type of like anti-cellulite products yeah. or anything like that. I, I also feel like they don't, do yeah, like, like how would they think, I feel like, because, so the whole beauty industry and the whole, just ugh, everything yeah. really is, they attack like all of our insecurities, right? Yeah. That's how they make their money. They mm -hmm. start making these products, these little like hacks and whatever, yes. and half these things don't work. Like yes. they're just, they're just there to get your money and make us more insecure. So I'm not gonna, no, I just, I've never, I've never used, I like work with Nivea and they have like a toning gel, but I don't think that's for it's cellulite more either. Anything I you think put on is like hydration. Yeah, it's not cellulite, gonna... I don't. I cellulite's think... genetic, extremely genetic, first off. Yeah. So like if you're, my, my mom, my mom is skinny, my mom has cellulite. Like it's not as intense as mine because I am larger, but like cellulite is super genetic. Yeah. So it, nine times out of 10, if you have cellulite, your mom, your sister, yeah. someone else in your family has it. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's fine. Just, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like such a normal thing. Yeah. Like, I don't think it needs to go also, away. Also, you got a fat ass, you got you're cellulite. You're gonna have so cellulite. Like, <laughs> it's the same thing with, unless you're getting a BBL, if you want a fat ass or to appreciate a fat ass, you've got to appreciate yeah. a tummy because there's no such thing as a real fat ass without a tummy and without mm -hmm. some cellulite. It's mm -hmm. just a fact. Correct. Okay, next question. We'll do a couple more. Have you ever made the first move? Do you have tips on confessing to someone first? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you love a first move over here. Listen, I am a control freak. Same. And so I, oh, Tony, I don't think you're that, well, you're not as controlling as me. So I feel like that's, well, I guess not in that sense. I just mean more so like, you want to know, I everything. just want to, yeah. Like, I'm yeah. just like, listen, I like you. Do you like me? Yes. Sort of thing. Like that's Let's just, just put it out there. I don't want to, we are not in middle school. <laughs> yeah. Like. And I'm not stupid for trying to find out whether you like me or not. I'm not gonna waste my time. I don't wanna waste Amen. my breath, you yes. know, trying to pursue. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, I have no problem. I have absolutely no problem and I have no problem. But you know what that is? Pure confidence also. And that's what you have to have is you yeah. have to know like you are the prize, you are the catch. Why would someone not want you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lead with that energy. And oh, I always think about like, what's the worst that happens? They reject you, they turn right. you down. That's fine, that's per their prerogative. I mean, that, they're and that's lost, also part but, like, of life. Like you're, yeah. and, it you're builds character, rejected. honestly. Yeah, like, it, and rejection, like we shouldn't digest it as like, oh my God, maybe I'm just not good enough. No, like it just, that person wasn't for you. Yeah. So there's gonna be someone else that's not gonna reject you and that's probably gonna be your man. So, so that, do it, that's don't be scared. You yes, know, definitely. I totally agree. Slide in those DMs, do that. Do it, slide in real life too. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Um, how are you able to maintain a positive personality in a world that is always negative? I really appreciate that uh, question. I think that first, it's so hard for me to say this, but it's true. The world is not always negative. And I think it's important to have that perspective because like a lot of things in life, what you put out, you get back. Mm -hmm. And there are so many disgusting, cruel, horrible, negative things about this world that um, people like Javi and I that are very in touch with humanity, our activism, um, you know, our, our own personal dedication to revolution, we're very aware of and our emotions are very tied to that. So it's very easy for us to go to a dark space and a bar dark place. Um, but the beauty in both of us is we are both very optimistic and we're fighters. If you, if we're talking about fight or flight, Javi and I are fighting 20 times out of 10. Um, and that fight looks so different in, you know, so many different arenas, but a part of that fight is being positive and putting good, fruitful, intentional things out into the world, out on social media, in our conversations, in our friendships, to our family, to the guy at the grocery store. Um, and that's just who we are. Like how we are on camera is how we are in real life. And we're probably even better in real life because we take the time to like, talk to the woman that works at the flower shop. We take mm -hmm. the time to like- We put, make connections. Exactly, we connect with people. We put just good energy out there. And um, I think that's really important. And I think just realizing too that like, like I said, what you add to the world, to your environments is so important. And especially when we're speaking about society, that's why Javi and I do what we do because there's so many people saying, you know, leading with the negative, you're fat, you're ugly, you're unlovable, you're unworthy, like go to the gym, you know, all this shit, right? But we can counterbalance that by putting out content showing like we love ourselves, we take care of ourselves, we are happy in our bodies, we're appreciative for our vessels and you can do the same. We're gonna wear whatever we want, we're gonna be confident, we're gonna be bold. Um, so yeah, I think that we're really lucky because in our own personal lives, when the cameras are shut off, we are, we have more positive in our, or we see more positive. We live in the positive more than dwelling on the negative. And so we lead with that. Yeah. And I think too, understanding that without the negative, you don't have a positive. Mm. So that's kind of just like what I've come to understand every time that I maybe I've hit like a low point or maybe I'm just not feeling all that great. It makes you appreciate the, the good, good times moments even more because you know how bad it could get or it has been or whatever. And so you can't have one without the other and that's just the beauty of life. Yeah, <laughs> no, true, very true. I love that. Okay, next one. How do you feel when pictures are taken and it's not your best angle? This is a good question. I haven't been asked that before. I take more. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, okay, it's interesting. The, when I read that question, I thought they meant if someone else is taking a photo of you. Like, let's say, oh no. <gasps> no, I didn't, this pops right back on. I was playing with my phone too much. Um, like, let's say we're hanging out and someone's like, I'm gonna take a picture of everyone. And they take a picture and it's unflattering. Oh. That's what I was imagining. Oh. Cause yeah, oh. duh, if you're taking pictures of yourself. No, 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 but even, I mean, like at the, when we went just now to take photos, like I still, I'd be like, oh yeah, shoot some oh, more. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, if it's like in a group setting, honestly, I don't care that much. Yeah, me neither. I People have because posted photos Because also like, I, I don't, I never want to attach myself to photos and be like, it's all about how I look in my, and in, in just like my body vessel. Like, yeah. I, did I have fun that day? I did. Yeah. Am I happy in that picture? I am. Am I with people I love? Right, like, like yeah. that's really, that matters when it comes that's to really those important sort of situations. Yeah, if I'm modeling and like blah, blah, then that's a lot more technical. But yeah. like, we got our angles down, like what we like, the, the, how far she has to be from me and all that. Yeah. And it's a trial and error thing. Sometimes you want a different vibe and, but yeah, I just yeah. keep taking them until I'm, Satisfied with them. Yes, 100%. Okay, we'll do an, um, a fashion question because we haven't done these so far. Most comfortable and supportive bra? I don't wear bras. Sorry, speaking <laughs> of being comfortable and supportive, I'm <laughs> moving back. I, very, I know you have like a yes. favorite bra. I'm Go wearing ahead. it right now. Go on. Um, okay, so my favorite bras, kind of a shock, are from Skims. It's the underwire um, I need to link it. I'm gonna link it in my like to know it if I haven't. All Actually, no, it's linked in my like to know. If you go to like any of my outfits, I'm pretty much wearing it in like some style. It's amazing. I have it in four colors. <laughs> but honestly, all the bras from Skims are amazing. If you're small chest like me, but bigger around the band, 
Um, I really like the ones, it's like fabric here, no padding and then a wire. They're amazing. I wear a 40B in Skims bras or 42B and they fit like heaven. Besides that, I'm a sticky boob girl. I'm a nipple cover girl. But neither of us are huge on bras. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not wearing one But Skims right now. is like my go-to. Yeah, I think also because I, I did get in the Grooveine uh, shirts that I know either are supportive enough or just mm -hmm. not see-through. And I, I like could just, like that. yeah, like like this one right now, like I just, I'm not wearing a bra. Also, I don't know how I would wear a bra because the cut of this is interesting. But yeah, I just, I no. But Skims, do, like their stuff is just really comfortable yeah. overall. We so. love Skims, honestly. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm a Skims we work with Skims, sure. but we also spend a lot of money with Skims. Yeah, That's I, like, I no, literally like just amazing. bought. Same. I, oh, oh, I got your skirt. <gasps> Javi Sport. placed an order on Skims and I was like, oh, well, I need to place an order on Skims. So I was like looking and I found something that she'd been looking for yeah. and she didn't get it. So I, she had already yeah. paid, so I got it. Um, okay, next question. What is the most uncomfortable position do you find as a curvy girl? I'm assuming you're talking about sex. This is my girl, Nisi. Nisi shows me so much love on Instagram. I love when I like recognize people's Instagrams because we talk a lot in DMs and stuff like that. Shout out to you, Nisi. I'll go first because I know one right away. Okay, go ahead. T-Bell loves this freaking, sorry, I had to do a mean eye roll for you guys. This position when I'm on top of him with like, I'm standing like this. What, I'm oh, squatting okay. like this on top. Not lean back like this. I can't do it. So I'm not like pop, but like imagine I'm sitting up in a squat on okay, top of it. Where is he? Oh, he's under me. Under you. Yeah, I'm like sitting up like this. Oh, got it. Yes. And you're going up. And yes. Oh my God. It's like child, I'm a big girl, okay? Yeah. That's no, a that, lot of- that, that takes some effort. Right? That takes some effort. Um, But like, I it, I am lucky because T-Bell's very strong, so he'll like go under and like hold my butt and like lift me. Yeah. But I'm, we got maybe 10 pumps in me like that. And yeah. I'm like, yes, yeah. a rock. I um, did one where I have like no upper body strength. Like, let's just get that out of the Same. way. So it was like a standing moment. So he was like holding me, like holding, Your like I'm him. Yeah, so he's like that standing. So I'm like hooked on his neck. Oh, like he's holding you. Yeah, okay. like holding facing me him. up. Fa yeah. You're facing yeah. him. Yeah, holding, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But That's I'm not, job. I'm like not, I, I'm not Oh, strong. so you're trying to hold on. Yeah, to so I'm like this. And then I just feel like I can't enjoy it if I'm not relaxed. So I'm just like holding on for your legs. So I feel like I'm gonna fall. Is this who I think it is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, <laughs> no, all I was trying to get at is anything where I need to like put on work, like with my arms, like I'm just not strong. I can't do pull-ups. What makes you think I can hang on to you? That's, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, no, definitely I agree with that. Um, I'm not an upper body girl either. <laughs> but speaking about working out. Ooh, what a great segue. You see me? Good job. She's a host. Um, we are, get, we got so many questions about working out. Um, so I guess we'll answer like one. Um, because I want to do a whole, I want oh, yeah, to do a whole, whole we're going to do a whole video about working out, going to the gym. Like I want you guys to be prepared with all your questions, but we'll touch on this and then we have some really exciting news. Okay. So Olivia said your workout for beginners, trying to slim down a little, need your routine because it looks fun. First off, I'm Olivia, so glad it looks fun to you. I was just about to say I that. Know. We do I'm have so fun. glad that you said need your routine because it looks fun because I think that's the important um, important piece there. Like you said, trying to slim down a little and that's great. If that's what you wanna do that makes you happy, that's your goal, go crazy. Your goal is your goal. Um, my and Javi's goal and go to the gym, I think, let me know if I can speak for all of us, is one, yes, to have fun, to implement routine, to prioritize our health. Um, and that doesn't necessarily equate to what we look like. It's more an internal feeling and to be strong. Yeah. Um, and to make sure, you know, we can live like long, healthy yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's why I'm so glad you said looks like fun because that's like our goal. Yeah. Javi is like an athlete. I always say she's super into like doing physical things that get her to work out. So for example, she's yeah. like a pro volleyball player. Yeah. I went today. Yeah. I'm tired. She plays beach volleyball. But, yeah. Like stuff like that, like that get me going. Like yeah. I love, I just, I like being outside for yeah. the most part and getting, yeah, I love 
activities that are fun that look fun i'm so glad that looks fun too because it is for us yeah we we enjoy it so and it's much. like it's like you're having fun i think with a lot of things javi does you're having fun and you like get finesse into working out yeah you know what i mean it's like you're not going yeah. into it leading like oh this is a workout i know um where i am more of a gym girl like i like going to the gym but i have like peaks and lows like sometimes i'm super into it i love listening to my music i love like being in the grind but it's easy when you go by yourself to like fall off and then like not yeah. do it for three days i also travel a lot so it's mm -hmm. like hard to keep it going i'm also a pilates girl javi hates yeah, pilates but i'm sorry i tried i She's honestly i'll back. try everything tw uh, once not twice you said twice None. you said twice Javi's going to pilates no no i, I said I, I would come because it is a good workout yes. like i'm not shitting on it i'm not pooping on it um because it is a, like i i understand why people like it i get it yeah. but like i said i'm a i'm a different she gets like, bored it's i like, get bored yeah. like i was like oh, we're gonna be on this thing yeah. like the whole time like i want to do like something else yeah so that's and that's what that makes it easy for me to like fall off of like that mm. type of routine so like for from like the workouts that we do the music is pumping like it's you're moving the entire time like you're barely really catching your breath half the time and that that's what helps me like keep going yeah and have keep the, the momentum, momentum. Oh, sorry i'm trying to adjust myself <laughs> okay um okay so for workouts if you guys don't know we go to f45 um, F45 is a workout boot camp, hit circuit style resistance <laughs> training workout class. Um, it's 45 minutes long and Tuesdays, Thursdays are strength training. Mondays, Wednesdays are a hybrid of strength training and cardio. Fridays are full cardio and Saturdays also also for full cardio and for Saturdays an are an hour. Yeah, it's like we haven't done a Saturday yet. Yeah, we this have past week, no way. <laughs> you know, this past week we did Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. So we did one hybrid cardio and strength training and then two strength trainings. Mm -hmm. um, it is very hard and it's intense, but we like it because it's super fast pace. Mm -hmm. um, and so it goes by really quick because it's 45 minutes and you really can go at your own pace. Yeah, they always tell you like you don't need to go fast. You don't need to get as many reps yeah. in as you can. Go slow. It's yeah. about really solidifying the workout. Mm -hmm. There's trainer, the trainers at our studio are phenomenal and they're always coming over to us like, okay, fix your yeah, back, fix hold your mm -hmm. core because especially being a bigger person, you can really hurt yourself mm -hmm. if you don't have the core strength or like the back strength to do certain things. So I love that yeah. they show you that. They also push you, you know, like yeah. if you get close with them, obviously they're not going to like your first week or whatever. Yeah, like, go harder. Yeah. But like they know us now. They've learned us. Yeah. Um, and they know which ways we can. Yeah. Like they start to know like our strength even within us like exactly. even in some exercises we'll surprise ourselves and be like oh like actually i, I can yeah, do this yeah like, or i'll be like or we're getting I'm, better yeah like, or we're going up in weights or things like that yeah mm -hmm. um so we are so fortunate we live across the street from each other we go all the time and it's been amazing i like mm -hmm. we're gonna go all year yeah. i just feel it like, and this is like a true testament for me because i'm not a morning person i get up at seven i tweeted this the other day <laughs> the fact that i get up at 7 a.m to, to work get out. ready to go work out at this 8 15 class and, and it's be a walk happy it's like, about it we walk like 10 15 blocks yeah it's far yeah it is yeah yeah that's like we so we do like two warm-ups and then yes. we do like a cool down because we gotta walk, walk back. back yeah so it really is like a whole routine for us and but i'm a routine based person so I. like i need to I have a routine like something like the consistency yeah what? Consistency, consistency of it. <laughs> yeah, um, that's what helps me just thrive as a human being. Yes. Um, so yeah, we we've been loving, yes, living, loving, have. laughing, live, live, love, live, 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 <laughs> okay, live, laugh. Okay, now. Okay. For our announcement. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So February. we are. <laughs> uh, I don't know what we're saying. We are all in this <laughs> together. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, February 19th, 2023, 10 a.m. Mark your calendar, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to join in, but I don't know what you're saying. Okay, no, seriously. February 19th, 10 a.m., F45 DTLA. DTLA. We will link their Instagram below. We are doing a Valentine's Day workout meet and greet, okay? Curvy plus size friendly. Mm -hmm. And um, it, we are shutting the studio down. Okay, with our only two for favorite, us, only for us, our people. Um, we're not saying us. If you are not plus size or curvy, you are still welcome to come. Um, but we, so we're gonna do a workout class, 
and that will be a certain amount of people. So we'll let you know when we have that number. Um, but I would really appreciate if we could fill those spots with curvy and plus size women, cause I want you to feel safe. We mm -hmm. are leading the whole workout. So like it's us with our two favorite trainers at the studio, Lindsay and Al, mm -hmm. they're fucking amazing. They're so chill. They're so calm. They're like what you want as a fat person yeah. at a, at a gym or studio or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, so we're going to do a 45 minute workout from 10 to 10 45. And then we're having a meet and greet for an hour after. So there'll be, we're going to get vendors there. I think mm -hmm. Celsius is going to be there. We're going to get some woman owned vendors there and we're just going to chill for an hour. You can talk to us, you can meet us. We can tell you our experiences with working out and just, we can chat about life. Also, I think we're going to get there early at 9.30. Yeah. So um, anyone that's Whoever in the workout class, in. yeah, or come in um, early, we're going to be there. Mm -hmm. We're so excited for I this. Know. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, even if you're not in the LA area and you just want to like drive to LA yeah. <laughs> for the weekend or yeah. something, it's going to be amazing. So just make sure you guys mark your calendars February 19th. Make sure you follow us both on Instagram. Yeah, um, we're, we're going to have more information. Yeah, we're going to have more information. Also, make sure you guys follow F45 DTLA. You don't have to if you want to, but I would because it's yeah. going to be posted there. Mm -hmm. But make sure you guys are stay, staying in tune with us because we will give all the information. And then we'll probably like release a link so you can sign up for the spots. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we're going to put much of a cap on the meet and greet after. So yeah. I'm so excited. I know. I can't wait. Great. Yeah. And what was I going to say? I don't know. My brain, my brain is frozen. I'll be doing volleyball this morning. I'm dead. Okay. Well, it's okay because we've come to the end. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking around. Yes. If you watch this whole video, you're a fucking real one. And if you watch this whole video and you're not a part of the confidence crew, you're lying to yourself. You are a part of the confidence crew. This is your family now. This is your home. So you might as well hit that big juicy red button screen subscribe to you below. Give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure your notifications are turned on so that every time I upload, you get a notification and comment below if you guys are so happy that curvy girls answer questions are back tell us what plus size creators that you know are in la you'd want to see on this series topics um questions anything we are open to it all so you guys know comment sections always an open forum so go crazy and everything you need to know will be in the description box we love you guys so much big perk Big purr. We are the big purr. <laughs> We're the biggest the, of the purrs. The biggest of all purrs. <laughs> we'll see you very soon. Thank Love you for you. being here. Have Make a wonderful day.